Me, I'm sick and tired of the excuses. I'm tired of all the people who are not doing what they're supposed to be doing, blaming the government, blaming the youths. Yes, we've got an epidemic right now that is again on the rise with a lot of the young people that are killing themselves. But I want to take it back to basic, basic parenting, that is. What happened to the family dynamics? There's, there's cuts going on right about now to youth clubs, youth centres and so forth that we had in place back in the 70s, back in the 80s and early 90s. They ain't there no more. But what's the excuse why you can't do an activity with your child? How many of the chicken shops are actually feeding your children after school? How many of, how many of you are ensuring that your children are having a breakfast? And then how many of you have made sure that your child has got a smartphone or the latest to keep up? Just on my way down to this venue right now, I witnessed a mother with two children that were under 10 years old. The mother was away from the children. I was observing the children on the bus because I was thinking, where is the parent? So I'm looking, the mother had on headphones and she's there on her phone or her device, whatever it was that she was on. But the point of the matter is, she wasn't anywhere near her children. And this is what is going on with society. Parents need some help to parent. I don't mind being persecuted. I don't mind standing up in front of a camera and putting myself out like this to ensure that more parents start parenting. Stop trying to be your child's friend. You are their parent. But not only when you have to go and kick off in at the, the child's school, that's not how you support your child in education. You can support your child in education by joining the PTA, by ensuring that your child's homework is done on time, by ensuring that you're there. But it, these are the things, the fundamental things that we all grew with that are now being left behind. Most of the parents want to ensure that they've got a full set of nails or that their children, I'm talking about the girl children, they've got weave longer than their, than their flipping skirts. You understand what I'm saying to you? I'm not into that. I'm thinking that if, until you're about 18, that's when you should, be, you should be having yourself looking like a woman. Because that's bait right now for men and for young men out there. Because the children are not wanting to be children. I'm tired of it. If, if any point that what I'm saying is resonating and making you sit back from wherever you're watching this on and thinking, who is she? I'm a person in the community that cares about your children. You understand? I've only got one. Mine's doing just fine right about now. I know where he is. I know what he's doing. And do you know why? Because I made it my business to learn. I made sure that I knew who his friends were. I made sure I knew who his friend's parents were. I made sure I knew where they lived. You understand? A phone, a phone number is not enough to warrant my child going around there. Equally, there's a lot of people that are blaming the young people out here for all what's going on in the roads and the devastation that is be befalling us as a, as a nation of people. But I'm telling you, it comes back to basic parenting. How many of you parents are in the dance and when the dance finish, you're looking to go to the after party in opposed to going home and there going and look back your children? You're making the whole community have to, to parent your child now. This is getting beyond the joke. And at the end of the day, while God gives me health and strength, I should be out here at every opportunity trying to pull up you parents. And as I said, if it resonates with you, so be it. Come and challenge me in a way that is done with peace and love because that's what I'm about. If you can't see that I'm about peace and love and trying to drum home a message for you guys to interact more with your children in opposed to letting society have to do the job, then you know what I mean? So be it. I don't mind being persecuted for doing something righteous. I recognize this is my calling out here. I became a family support worker. I've always been a community support worker. I'm a parent. I'm a person in the community who cares. But one of the things I'm not going to sit by anymore and is allow parents to have excuses about the government, about their children, about society, when it all comes back on you, parents. If you've got a problem, if you need any advice, come look me up because I want to help you parent your children and save our children.